Hello everyone, Chamentine here. In this video, we're going over uh, a quick tutorial on Cacti device uh, defaults. So um, by default, when you create a device in Cacti, uh, so you know I'm going to click on create device and uh, click add. There's some some uh, settings that are already filled out here. Uh, for example, the Polar Association is set to main. You have a device template automatically set to Cacti stats um, and things like that. Now, we can manipulate a lot of this data up front with the default, um, the default device setting and so that you don't have to fill out majority of this info if your network is standardized enough. Uh, example being, I have 100 switches that all use, say, SNMP version 2, uh, they're all set up with the same community string uh, or version 3, which which have you, right? Uh, and maybe they're all Cisco's, right? So uh, instead of the Cacti stats being my default template, maybe I have the Cisco router template that normally carries uh, the same OIDs for uh, switches as well. Um, and of course, this is not going to... Um, this is not going to prevent you from ever having to change anything, right? If you have a diverse network, right, you may need uh, additional device templates uh, that you can use automation for, uh, you know, to scan your network, figure that out. But this will uh, have where majority of the cases are applicable to you. So let's get started on how to manipulate this. So we're going to go over to configuration settings and then go over to device defaults. Okay, so device defaults, uh, the very first thing is for the general defaults is, um, for example, what template by default will be selected. Now, the Cacti Stats template is used for Cacti Polars, so chances are uh, you don't want that as your default. So let's say I'm going to set this up for a Cisco router and the site. So uh, maybe you don't want to specify a site. Um, right off the bat you want it so that if you do have sites if you are using sites uh, in cacti that uh, someone will have to actually go in while creating the device manually that is to select the site that this device should be associated to right um same thing for polar now there is a none option however that would mean that the device does not get pulled so um, we're going to at least have it associated to a specific polar uh, right off the bat. So I'll have main device threat. Now this uh, is really to do with the spine polar uh, and how many threads it will use to uh, pull whichever device. Right. Same with re-indexing method. Uh, generally, uptime is good enough. So once a device reboots. Um, uh, or comes back up online after an outage, uh, Cacti will go and run the um, device query to see if anything has changed. Now, if uh, while you're adding the device, Cacti can't determine the interface speed from the data it gets in SNMP, we're going to need to have some sort of default. So, majority of switches uh, lately uh, um, are typically have gigabit interfaces, right? Uh, same with uh, newer routers. So having the default interface speed of one gigabit uh, is okay. Uh, adjust, of course, based on your environment. So, I mean, if you're deploying 100 meg access switches or something like that, then you would select that. Now, the next is the SNMP defaults. So SNMP defaults... Um, you know, by default right now, it would select version two with the community string of public. So let's say your network is set up with SNMP version two, and you know that, for example, you're using community string ABC123, you can select to put in ABC123 there. And then uh, some other uh, important defaults are the availability, how we're going to determine that this device is up or down. So using the SNMP uptime is uh, a good default to have. So basically when Cacti uh, gets a device, <clears throat> it's going to look at the SNMP uptime. 
when that uptime goes back to zero, for example, because of a reboot of power down, it's going to look at that, compare it, and know that it's down. Also, if Cacti cannot reach the device via SNMP, it will assume it's down. Now, there are other options with uh, some logic in there. So, for example, there's the ping and SNMP uptime. So in order for Cacti to determine that device is down, ping and SNMP would have to fail, right? Uh, or, meaning if ping or SNMP fails, then the device is marked down. And then there are other um, options here as well. And then there's one that's just ping. And then uh, staying on that up and down for failure count, so failure count is how many times a device has to register is that how many polling cycles does that device have to be down before it's marked down i sorry let me retract how many polling cycles that device is unreachable before it is down so if you have a one minute polling cycle this would mean that that device has to be down for two minutes before it's shown as down and the same as the recovery uh is the device would have to be online for three minutes before it's registered as up. In the meantime, that device will go from a down state to a recovering state. Okay. And now click save on that. And now if we go back to that same form where we're creating devices, so top right hand corner here, you'll see that a lot of the details uh, have changed. So for example, the default template is now Cisco router instead of a uh, the the cacti stats template. Um, we have version two uh, is selected with the community string ABC one two three, and uh, the SNMP uptime is selected. So now all you'd have to do is put in the device description. So let's say test device and the host name or IP address, you know, so 2.2.2.2, something like that, right? And then go ahead and create the device. Now, of course, if you're adding a device that is using, say, the public SNMP community string, then, you know, you'd have to fill this out or another one. But this does give you uh, on a again on a network that's a bit more standardized that when you're adding devices manually that you can get a head start uh, by manipulating your device templates um, if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section below uh, and if you have any ideas or want to see any subjects uh, covered uh, on, on our channel just uh, also drop that in the comment section below uh, then talk to you guys soon thanks